to all of you who supported our young people going to family camp. Amen. All of you who brought up food after service for a month and a half and was enough to pay for all of our young people who went to camp. What a phenomenal camp we had this year. What, um, it, it was just phenomenal in so many ways. Um, the ministry at night was powerful. You know, there's sometimes you can get excited. Um, well, hopefully you get excited more often than not. But, you know, things are really impacting when the word is not only good that evening, but but you're still chewing on it. Even if you don't teeth, you're still chewing on it. And you're still ignoring it. Good. But it's good enough that um, the word is applied to your life. You know, um, one of the nights, the message was so simple but so uh, profound about asking. Just the simple fact of asking makes you want to um, look forward to going to prayer and asking God for great things. Amen? Amen. Amen. How many of you are blessed at camp, family camp this, this year? Who's dreaming? For who? Okay, tell us why you scream. Come here. <laughs> tell us why camp is so good. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Right. Oh! Yeah. So good. Yeah. 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 Or something new, something I can relate to, something I'm open to for the rest of my life. And surely we'll teach it to others at this point. Thank you.
had two sons. One day, the younger son came and said,
Dear God, Dear God, cry out. <laughs> Dear God, thank you for believing that I can take care of myself. You know how to do Thank you for teaching me to be independent, strong, stable in the, in the Word of God. Thank you for being a strong will God in the Word of God. Thank you for having strong standards because without them, I would be completely unbalanced. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Thank you. This is a big one. Thank you for being a promise keeper and for me to be able to trust you. As a girl, you have very a lot of trust issues. Me and I met a girl. Everybody got trust issues. <laughs> but my dad, he, I got to trust him. I was able to lean on him because he kept promises with me. And that taught me to be a promise keeper. That when you get a promise, you keep it. He also taught me that God is a promise keeper. So I thank my father for being a strong man of God for having strong standards, for being independent and knowing that wherever God goes, that's where you go. That wherever the man of God goes, that's where you go. Thank you, Father.
asked about, sorry if this doesn't make sense, hopefully, but, you know. but I just wanted to tell you that I love you and happy Father's Day.
being here today. I know I had a hard time in communion, but you know, your flesh gets a hold of you, but I thank God for his mercy and his grace to cover us. And that he's with us every single day, you know, even after today, you know, you're gonna walk under these doors and you know, he's gonna test you every walk, every everywhere that you go, you know. God's always with you no matter what. And I'm so thankful that I can stand here today and then and say that I am a child of God. And I've been going through, you know, this this diabetes and sickness and it's been thirsty all the time. It's been like four or two. I, I'd say about like four four years or so. They couldn't figure out what the deal was. And I've been taking so many tests. And finally I went to the specialist that she did um, this dehydration test and after that, they couldn't figure out what was going on. And so I'm thinking, okay, God, what's the deal with my body? You know, why not always thirsty? But God, it's so good because after all of that, you know, I I know I needed to fast. I have a hard time fasting. <laughs> and I fasted for like 12 hours, just 12 hours, no water, no food. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to be do this. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so thirsty. But God carried me through from 12 o'clock all the way to the end, end part of the evening. And I thought, oh my gosh, I can do this. And it's for the glory of God because he's the ultimate one that's the healer. And when I went through all of that, I was well. After that, I told my husband the next day, I said, if you could, I'm not thirsty no more. Every single night that I was thirsty, they used in the bathroom and, you know, going every single day and... God's my healer. He's the only one that can do it. I'm giving him the glory because he's so good to me. And he's the real God. Never, never know him. I know we do, but don't allow your flesh to come against you. Hold up to the word of God and stand on his will. Stand on his word and never give up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's the one who can do it. He's the one who can do it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
I thought I was in the cemetery. Hallelujah. Praise God. Are you sure you guys going to sit there the whole time? I'm kind of nervous when people are behind me. I'd like to spit on you. Come on. Let's go back so you can just get healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You going to sit there too? You get me nervous, man. If it's okay, I don't want to disrespect you, but can I take this off? I want to keep it. Amen. If I keep it on me, it's not going to be good for two minutes. Hallelujah. Let me put it here. Before I, I uh, start, I uh, want to say uh, thank you to Pastor Boscaso and his wife in this beautiful church. I don't... I have a message for you. Amen. 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 At what time you guys finish church? You know, you're in trouble. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You preach long and you know when the now these days? I don't know. Alright. Breaking the ice here. Hallelujah. I do, I do. I uh I am nervous. I am. Yeah, right. Uh, I do want to bring something. I got a message from this church. Amen. I will tell you this if you believe the word of God. Amen. I am not going to preach about Father's Day, okay? Yeah. And that's alright? Yeah. I want to preach to you what the Lord gave me for you. Yeah. Uh, I love this church. I'm now telling you the truth. I, there is an Obedeo. Obedeo. It's this church. Nobody knows who's Obedeo. We need to read the Bible. We're starting on the wrong foot. Hallelujah. All right. You're in trouble. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Well, before I start and you buckle your seatbelt, we're going to have a good time in the Holy Ghost. And believe me, I'm not going to stay here too long. We're going to boot and we're going to jump and dance and nothing. We're going to have a good time, but we're going to have victory today. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe that I'm going to preach this to a church that I love so much. In fact, it reminds him to bring me back for revival. Yeah. 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 No, say amen. amen. So when I call him, he doesn't answer my phone call. I'm coming after you. Hallelujah. Yeah. We're going to have a three days revival. Say amen. Yeah. I just put him on the spot. Hallelujah. <laughs> no, but really, I want to, but I'm just breaking the ice if it's okay with you. Some of you didn't know me. What I remember was this was not all the way over here. It was all the way that way. And we have a good time. We look like a can of sausages in here. Hallelujah. <laughs> How long you have been here? 20 years, maybe? Around there? All right, let's go preach because I have to go before I start flowing here. Acts chapter 20, verse 1. To every parent, to, to every dad that is here, thank you so much for everything that you do to, for your kids. I will say this. If you're a dad and you want your kids to live for God, you have to live for God. Yeah. If you're a dad and you want your kids to pray, you have to pray in front of them. Hallelujah. Yeah. If you're a dad and you want them to glorify God, you need to glorify God also. Can I hear yeah. amen? 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 They got heroes of basketball, they got football, they got all this junk, and what they need is a good dad yeah. that will show them the ways of truth and light. Can I hear yeah. an amen? Yeah. Well, I'm buckle up. We go here. Acts chapter 20, verse 1. I'm going to need somebody to read for me. Hallelujah. But I will read one verse. I'm going to let you sit down. So you go, I know you guys are tired. We got ribs. He said that, so I finished fast. But no, we finished God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, I'm just joking. Hey, Amen. Did you love your pastor? And after the uproar was, was ceased, Paul called unto him 
<coughs> the disciples and raise them and depart to go for to go into Macedonia. And when he had gone over those parts, he had given them much exhortation. He came in two things. With the help of the Lord, I want to really talk, and I don't really have any titles of my messages anywhere that I go, but I have one for you. There's still life. In Y9. Boy, there's still life in Y9. Lift up your hands.
you read it later on. This piece of land. Hallelujah. All right. You ready? Yeah. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. I like to spit, so if you get spit, and you make me get healed. Hallelujah. I'm a Bible believer. Jesus is spit on the guy if he got healed. Hallelujah. And you're in the wrong spot. Hallelujah. And you got you're sick. You're sick. No, you no sickness on you. Anybody sick here? Do you come all oh, you are? <laughs> come your hands to the Lord. Hallelujah. I preach about that in Canada and uh, and then that told them, hey, you know, I'm not Canada, sorry, but you see you get old. Your I was preaching to one Canada and we I said, let me spit on you. You <laughs> see, we, we say, ugh, ugly, ugh, disgusting. The Bible call it anointed. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. We want a miracle, but we want to look pretty. All right. <laughs> we want to move with God, but we want to look pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Well, tell that to the man on the pool of Vanessa. Hallelujah. Yeah. Tell that to the blind man that walked with two balls in his eye holes. Yeah.
But I tell you what they want to see at the end of the service. They want to have results. You know? Hallelujah. I preached years and I told that pastor I'm going to preach to everywhere. There was a lady sitting down in the back, brand new in the church. She got canes on her hands and she can barely move. She should be going to that church for a while. I started preaching. And that woman in the middle of the service, she didn't care how many people was there. She stand up and says, I want the Holy Ghost. Thank you. 
bien. Man, if you guys are saved and sanctified, hallelujah. And I'm preaching to anybody that knows what I'm talking about, hallelujah. Take a couple shots of tequila before you get there so you can have the man now, hallelujah. You know, you know what I'm talking about. What is your name, brother? Huh? Joshua, do you know what I'm talking about?
not just a regular sleep. You know, when you start snoring, anybody? Hallelujah. And, and you snore so hard that you wake up yourself. Come on, is there anybody that snored in this house over that midday? Hallelujah. You're like going to see how some seas. Hallelujah. You know, it's you're like, Hallelujah. Sorry. 
Yes. People's going to get healed of their sermon. The Holy Ghost was like, shh, ha, 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 ha.
in the church. I mean, okay, hallelujah. That's a good start. Amen. Hey, but we got demon possessed people out of here coming to church and the demon get cast out. Get ready for the miraculous is coming. Because I pray. Oh, hallelujah. When was the last time that you got somebody with some demons and you say, hey, man, I call up in the name of Jesus? Amen. You have to let it go. Preach against demons here too. Sometimes, okay, praise God, I'm in trouble. Okay, anyhow, I'm preaching there. First night of revival, casting out demons. I mean, I mean, this lady started puking out. I said, man, I'm tired of this. You're messing up the service of God. I said, okay, in the name of Jesus, come out. Well, two minutes later, she's talking in tongues. And receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. When you go to other places, people bring you early. God help us if we come early in Hawaii. You see, we were late to five minutes. Hallelujah. This cube was going to be like, there was traffic. <laughs> Hallelujah. Anybody knows what I'm talking about? Oh, you're a bunch of saints. You guys better start repenting right now. Hallelujah. Oh, Pastor, there is a crash landing over here. The cow fall over the sky. Second night, and we were early, primarily, and I'm in, uh, uh, I'm in the back seat, and I'm like, I'm praying, man, I'm, and all of a sudden, I, I, I got a vision, and Brother Los if, if you guys don't believe this, he is right, I'm wrong, everything that he says is right, okay? But this happened to me, amen? But if he tell you don't believe that crazy preacher, that's fine too, Amen? <laughs> If you say that, I'll put it in the parking lot. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you. But I'm, I'm staying in, I'm staying in, in the back and, and, and I have a vision and I'm in. I'm like, what's going on here? And I see people kicking me out of my chair. And they said, they in my chairs. And I see people on the walls. And I see people everywhere. And I'm like, oh, we're going to have a great night tonight. Ten people show up to church. <laughs> Ten people. Well, I guess I never heard from God. I'm so carnal. Hallelujah. I know you guys don't think like that because you guys are so spiritual. But I'm not. Hallelujah. And I stood there and I, I was like, well, okay, let's make a mess out of it. I preach the same when there's 20, 30, 50 or more. Hallelujah. Amen. So I was there. I preached that, that night. Uh, and the lady, uh, it, said, it was things that happened. The lady said, man, I just like crying. She said, your son is lost. Anybody have a family lost that is in the world? I said, he's doing drugs. His tears started showing up. I prayed for her. It says, God is going to bring him back. And I thought there's stuff happening. Only them people never care. You know, I'm just, I don't care if he's 10. I don't care. Let's do it. Next service, Archie, you sit in the back in the same chair that I caught the vision. One, two, Three, four, all the city, all the all the sudden the, the whole sanctuary is full. And then I got kicked out of my chair. And I was on the same place on the wall. And I said, I got tired. I said, hey, I went to the whole chair. Hey dude, who's that dude over there? I don't know. They're new in church. Who is that dude over there? I don't know. Who is that dude over there? I don't know. And there was 30 people on that service that had never been there before. All started when we broke that demon. And all of a sudden, in the service, so I'm mad the, the, the bishop came and said, hey, brother, can you hear? I said, oh man, let's preach. Hallelujah, start preaching that this kid is in the back. Man, and I feel this thing, I'm going after him. Hallelujah. I'm serious. If I feel something in the spirit and I, I feel that I need to go out for you, I will go after you. And you, well, you know what I like? I like when people tell me, no. But he's getting it. He said, no. I said, oh, guilty as they come. Hallelujah. And then, but now he's in the back and then I'm, I'm going out there. I don't know who this kid is. Never seen my life. In fact, I've never been that part of Seattle. Hallelujah. And I'm preaching to him and everybody's getting blessed. 
and I finally get the altar call. The kid that had been gone out of church, he was the son of that woman that we prayed a couple nights before. Thank you. 